What's up Orange Slices and welcome back to Pokemon Sweet version. I thought it would be appropriate to bring back that intro because we're playing Pokemon Sweet and we're in Orange City and we're taking on the Orange City Gym today. So why not go back to the good old Orange Slices? You guys are still Orange Slices, right? I mean, if you want to be that is. If you're an Orange Slice, let me know in the comments or leave a like on the video if you are excited because we are taking on the second gym in this game today, 22 wins and 56 losses on gym leader Fizzy here. But before we get started, I actually have uh, some updates for you guys in our party. So you may have seen the last episode was actually yesterday, but in the time of recording, it's actually been about a week since I recorded the last one uh, because this last weekend I was in Chicago actually looking for some apartments. Well, not literally in Chicago, but around the area looking for a new apartment. Uh, so I haven't been able to record in a little bit, but now we're finally back and I did some training to pop to chew and cup these so pop to chew is now at level 22 He's got orange wave and I guess he learned quick attack. I think he already had orange shock not very good attacks Let me tell you I also don't know how the physical special split is in this game because every attack I've used so far seems to be physical But could be wrong about that. Um, anyway, yeah, he learned quick attack and orange wave which I guess don't really work too well together because Orange Wave is just Thunder Wave, so... I don't know, Paralysis already makes you faster. Anyway, uh, Cup B is level 23 and also learn Quick Attack, that's about it. Also has Helping Hand though, and because everything in this battle is, or in this game is double battles, might not be too bad. I never really use Helping Hand, but in this game, that might be an exception. And then of course we got the rest of the team, we've got uh, Tart Total, level 26, pretty dang high level if I do say so myself. And we've got Shurzel and Flang Goose who are just kind of rounding out the party. Don't know if I'm really going to use these guys, but most of you in the comments did say that I should use Popsichu and Cup B, so that is what I've done. So let's get ready for this gym. There's actually a little bit more that we can do to the south of here, uh, but I'm going to just stock up on items. We're going to do that after the gym. For now, we're going to focus on Mr. Fizzy or Mrs. Fizzy. I don't know. Usually it's Misty, so I'm going to assume that it's still Misty and it's just going to be... A girl named Fizzy now. Uh, so all we can buy are potions. And I think we're probably going to need some paralyzed heals. Because I think it's an orange type gym. Or I'm pretty sure it's an orange type gym. Considering this is Orange City. Uh, and because orange is basically electric type. We're probably going to get paralyzed a little bit in there. So going to buy some paralyzed heals. And I believe there's a girl that sold us some soda pops around here somewhere. So let me see if I can. Yep, this is her. Bubbly cool soda pop. Yeah, let's, let's buy some. How much do I have? I have two of them. All right, we definitely need more than two, that's for sure. So we're going to buy that and go and head off to the gym. Um, I mostly did my training over here. It was actually pretty hard to train up Popsichu. Cup B was not too bad because Quick Attack, or Tackle and Quick Attack did some good damage being vanilla type. Actually, Popsichu is vanilla type too, but for some reason he was not doing damage. So in here, I basically just kept fighting the weakling Pokemon there. Um... And they actually didn't give too bad experience, at least the, whatever the Electrode or Voltorb equivalent is, that thing, and Gumble as well, gives some pretty good EXP. So now, let's finally head into... Okay, there's a, this a, there's a pool full of Fanta. Orange Soda. Hey, you there, so you want to challenge Fizzy to a battle? She's tough, she uses orange-type Poke Sweets, but you can handle that, right? Right, I guess. I, I don't really know if I can, but I, I guess we'll try, so... Uh, let's see, who do I want to have? I was going to go Tartortal Cup B because this seems like a good combination, especially with Helping Hand on Cup B. Plus, Cup B's already level 23, so, uh, shouldn't be dying, really. I don't even know what level this gym is going to be. I might have over-leveled a little bit, but that is mostly the level that people told me to level up to. So, yeah, we got level 16s in here. That's, uh, may have gone a little bit overkill there, uh, but because they're orange type, Orange is weak to Cherry, Strawberry, and Apple, all three of the starting types, so, um, what's it called? Yeah, any starter that you picked at this point will be pretty good against this gym, so Cup B, go for that Helping Hand, and we're just gonna bubble away the competition right now, I guess, I don't know. I don't really know how Helping Hand works, I've never used it, really, so I, I'm, I don't know exactly what it does as far as stats goes, but I do know that it, like, raises your attack when you use it on another Pokemon, so Tartortal already pretty dang strong with being so 10 levels above these trainer Pokemon. Oh my goodness, have I really over leveled that much? See, this is my problem with training. People always trail me. You gotta train up, man, in every playthrough, whether it's Nuzlocke or not. They always tell me, you gotta train up, do that so your Pokemon are dying or to prevent them from dying, but then I train up and I end up being super over leveled and I'm just like, man, I shouldn't have trained up. I, I shouldn't have done it, but 
I guess we have a single battle finally, like the first single battle in ages. Literally have never had a single battle. Well, okay, maybe we've had one or two, but there have not been very many. Uh, but because this Cupcat here is level 19, I'm gonna try and go into Popsichu and hopefully he doesn't die in one hit. Alright, that did some some damage there, but hey, we got it with the uh, par Paralysis. Par paralysis? Man, I guess maybe being away from so long, I might have forgotten how to talk. I don't know, but yeah, I was gonna update you guys on that a little bit. What's been going on? Um, but I guess since we're fighting the gym leader already, I'll wait until after that. And then we'll have a little bit of a uh, good old munching orange story time. I know some of you guys love that, so we'll have a little bit of it. Um, but I guess we're already at Fizzy here, so who do we want to use? Uh, I guess I'll stick with Tartotal Cup. Be honestly, they did not do too bad. Can you move out of the way, please? I want some OJ. There's right there. Let, that's orange soda, actually. It's not OJ exactly, so... I don't know. Oh, I forgot. You can't even leave the gym unless you beat the gym leader. So we can't even get out of here. I was going to go heal up, but nope, we can't do that. So let's just talk to Fizzy and take her on. And hopefully, I, I was going to try to rhyme it, but all I could think of was Izzy. And there's not really a good rhyme with Izzy unless you're talking about Izzy is. And I don't really like her music, so... Ooh, a new challenger! Welcome! Did you notice I filled a pool with orange soda? It really does great with ice cream! Anyways, I'm Fizzy, also called the Floating Orange! I'm, I'm munching orange, nice to meet you! We're both adjective oranges, that's really awesome! We should go out sometime, maybe. Just get off off that pedestal and, you know, break that rock over there. We can go do whatever you want! Must be my hair, but enough talk! Prepare to be paralyzed by the sweetness of oranges! Let's do it up! I don't really know how this makes any sense because, I don't know man, oranges don't really paralyze you in any way, so I don't know, this, this lady makes no sense, but she's got Racical and Burtzel. Racical, I don't know if I like that name, now I don't know if I want to evolve my Pops issue because I don't like the name Racical. I get it, it's Raichu Popsicle, but I don't know, and then Burtzel, what is that? I know it's Floatzel, but Burt, what is the Burt part for? Maybe one of you guys can tell me, because I am not very good at this, apparently. So, we're going to go with the good old one-two combo. Clap it up, Cup B. And then we're going to bubble them. Um, this should be double super effective, because they're both orange type. I think they're both actually orange and vanilla. Unless Rysicle or Bird Soul here lose their half vanilla type. In which case, I mean, our attack is still going to be super effective. So, yeah, we could definitely go for that. Lower that speed as well, even though we're already... Wait, actually... Actually, okay, Burtzel was faster, not Ricicle. We lowered Ricicle's speed, but it was actually, um... Oh my gosh, that was a lot of damage there onto Cup V. Alright, uh, Popsichu, how about you get out here, buddy? You're an orange type, you know, you can probably survive an orange type attack from one of these guys, I would assume. And then if you can't, then that's, that's gonna be pretty unfortunate, but... I don't know, I hope you can survive. Whoa, why did you... That did a lot more... Oh, maybe Helping Hand only works for the one turn. It looks like it, because we definitely did not do as much damage as we did the first turn there. And yeah, Pops and Chew, tank up that orange hit. I love it. We're going to get paralyzed, though, which is not bueno. So I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, we're going to bubble with you, and we're just going to use Pops and Chew to heal up here. So paral paralyze heal, <laughs> I guess is what I'm calling it now, because I can't even... I don't know how to words, man. I forgot how. Literally, it's been like a week since I recorded a video, so... Pretty strange stuff, but I kind of like it, honestly. I don't know, I think I might try and, like, get more used to this. Like, record a bunch of videos in a row, and then kind of take a few days off. Because, I don't know, I feel like maybe that's... I don't know which way is a better way. Probably just the way I usually do it. Like, record one video a day, because then, when I record a lot of videos in a row... I don't know, man. I actually don't know. I'm curious, if there are any of you out there that also make videos, how do you guys like to handle it? Let me know. Let me, let me know for sure, but... One more Pokemon for Fizzy here, that's Flangoose. Uh, so we're gonna hit him with the Apple Toss, which does a little bit more damage. And we could actually also Orange Wave him, uh, just to make him even slower than he already is, because look at that. I think, yep, both of our Pokemon were already faster than him. But hey, maybe we'll get the Paralyze Hacks, who knows? Maybe, yep, we get the Paralyze Hacks. <laughs> if it's not crits, it's Paralyze Hacks, apparently, because look at that. We have defeated the second gym leader of this game. No Pokemon lost. Awesome stuff there. We did it, boys. We did it. Maybe I trained up a little bit too much. No, actually, I feel like I'm not too overleveled. What? My bottle is overflowing with fizz. Might want to get that checked out. I don't, I don't know. That's just my opinion. But we did it, guys. We've won the soda badge. 
not skipping over the music that time because in this game if you just skip through the dialogue you can like completely skip over the badge music kind of lame i like the badge music the little jingle it's it's great good going keep it up i gotta say you've got potential around here uh, around here like the region like like in this gym like with you maybe do i have potential with you just be honest with me busy just tell me do we have do we have some chemistry going on i don't know i want to know but i guess we won't so let's heal up and figure out where we're going next um now to the north there's this um there's you know normally there's bill's house but when we went up there in the last episode we actually found our rival katia i think is her name let's pick up some berries man two chesto berries and two cherry berries berries are like i feel like they're super glitched i don't know i feel like if you go into a building and come out like the berries will respawn let me try it nope they're bare today okay well i guess not maybe after a day it, it, it grows i don't know but either way we're gonna head up here and go pay katia another visit you can keep fighting her as many times as you want which i found kind of weird i think it's kind of a bug but i just want to see if she's gone now because she said she was gonna go shopping and move out of the way but she never did yes she is actually out of the way now so we can go into the orange orchard and it's bill and, and this guy ice cream is a prime component of ethers yeah y you think so dude these are kind of expensive buddy i don't really have that much money to fork around you know so my bad hi there i can make you some berry juice it will cost two orange berries heck yeah let's do it i don't know what berry juice does but i want some let me check it out berry juice Restores ju 100% juice for 100% kids. <laughs> Restores 20 HP. Are you serious? What is the point of that? You, I guess it just converts your orange berries into, you know, one item, I guess. I, I, I don't... That's not really too useful. 20 HP, plus you can't make the Pokemon hold it, can you? So, I don't know. Doesn't seem too great for me. It's also for kids and our, our Poke Sweets. I don't know if they're really kids, but yeah, we're gonna... Harvest up the berries that we planted here last time. We got, uh, it doesn't even tell you what berries they are, though, so that sucks a little bit. Um, but we'll grab those, and actually, I'm gonna plant some more, because what the? We have so many berries! What the? How many berries did we grow? Holy guacamole, dude, that's crazy. We grew so many just from planting one. So you know what? I'm gonna plant one more of each berry again. You just saw, we had, like, six orange berries, and we picked up, like... 14 or something that is crazy 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 man all right whatever i'll just plant a bunch of berries in and we'll come back eventually and i guess a bunch more will grow <laughs> that is ridiculous man yep all right well we'll be back for sure for sure uh but now that we did that and checked out bill's house which is really not too great i guess um we can do a little bit of munching orange story time so yeah during this last week so you saw the last episode was actually yesterday but i think i recorded it back on it was on Thursday, I think. Either Thursday or Wednesday. So yeah, literally a week ago, Thursday. Man, time sure flies when you're having fun. And this still hasn't grown. Okay, so I don't know how berries exactly work, but I guess they take a little bit to grow. But I swear sometimes I'll just play for like a half hour and like the berries will already have grown. So I just, I can't tell, man. It's crazy. Can we use cut now, by the way? I know one of our Pokemon has cut. I think, um, I think actually our Zangoose has it. Or Flangoose has it? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, maybe we can use cut now, but I think there's another way that we can go and it was Through here. I'm pretty sure so we'll we'll try to do that and get to Moringe City Moringe I think it's Moringe. I know that there's a level in Mario Mario Wii or Mario U one of those called Moringe clouds And I would call it like that uh, back when we did our co-op. Let's play of that I've done like three co-op playthroughs of that game now, man. It's crazy, but I called it Moringe People said it was Moringe or Moring. I don't know. Hey, it's Banana Road! Nice! We get to catch a new Pokemon here, too. Maybe we'll get a Banana-type Pokemon. That would be great. Anyway, without further distractions, I know I keep saying I'm gonna do my story time and then I keep forgetting. Um, so yeah, during this last week, I was actually looking for new apartments in around the Chicago area. So if you live in Illinois, you know, we might be neighbors, maybe. Probably not, because... I don't know. I don't want I'm not going to say where, you know, we picked our apartment, but hey, we did pick one, which is really, really awesome because that made the trip all worthwhile because it would have kind of sucked if we went there, spent like a week there or well, we spent like maybe four days there and didn't find an apartment. That would have kind of sucked. But yeah, we found a new apartment and I have to move on June 20th. So exactly a month from now, a month and six days, I guess. I don't want to say exactly. And then, you know, there will be one person in the comments is like, yo, today's the 14th, bro. 
there's like a month and six days, okay? That's like, that's not exactly a month. You cannot say that, all right? So I'm just gonna keep helping handing. I don't know, I feel like that just, Aria Cake. <laughs> His name is Aria Cake, that's, that's, that's cool, you know? Ariana Grande Cake. I just can't stop thinking about Ariana Grande, man. I can't, she's in my dreams. My dream girl, I don't, not really though. I don't know, I used to not really like her, but lately, lately I've been having a, a change of heart, I guess, like the Yu-Gi-Oh card. And, uh, it's pretty good. Now, I don't know if I really like her music that much. I just, I'm just saying, you know, as a, as a person, as a, as a grill, I appreciate you. Like DJ Khaled, you smart, you loyal. I appreciate that. That guy's an idiot, by the way, just saying. But, uh, anyway, yeah, we, we found a new apartment, which is pretty good. That's where I was the last week. In case you've been wondering why I haven't been streaming and all that. Uh, cause I didn't really have internet. Well, I had internet, but it was not very good. Let me tell you, hotel internet is not the best. Sometimes it can be okay, but most of the time, it's not the best internet. So, couldn't really stream, um, and that's why sometimes you didn't see videos, and we haven't been doing daily double uploads. I've been doing, I've been trying to do daily uploads. I think I missed one day total, which is not bad at all, but, you know, I'm trying, guys. I just realized you brought out another Ariana cake here, so whatever. Bring me all the cake you want, man. If it's Ariana, I'll, I'll eat it all the way. That sounds sounds a little weird. I'm gonna retract that statement there. Um, so yeah, next month, June 20th, we'll be moving, which is exciting because I feel like, I don't know, I move a lot. I move at least once a year lately, um, but I really like it. I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of like a nomad, you know? Nomads can never stay in one place for too long. And that's me, man. I'm a nomad, so... Now that you took out all of those, uh, let's just double team this thing and, and hopefully beat it up. Alright, that confection, at least he didn't use it on Tartortal because it would have actually been super effective on us. Um, should we try and catch a new Pokemon or should we just keep fighting these guys? I'm not sure. I know that I don't want to go for Popsichu. You know what? Candix, I haven't used you at all this episode, buddy. And you've been a great, a great part of this team lately, so, you know, it's time to go for the Candix again. Even though he doesn't really do too much damage. Whoa! Banana Bee! Alright, so banana types are weak to lemon and lime. And what is what type of attack is this? Strawberry. Uh strawberry is neutral against banana, so that's pretty good. Alright, nice. We can finally go for some magnitudes. Let's do it, banana bee. <laughs> it's a cool Pokemon. Maybe we can find one of our own. Holy moly, dude. That was a lot of damage there. Holy banana lee. That doesn't work. How can you make a pun out of holy moly? I know I did Holy Mom Lee for Mother's Day. That was pretty good. Oh yeah, Mother's Day happened too. Yo, I'm sorry. I, I, I pre-recorded all of my videos and I didn't even know Mother's Day was happening. So, happy Mother's Day. Happy late Mother's Day to all of your mothers out there. I know we have a lot of younger viewers here. So, you know, if your mom is around nearby, say, say that your boy Munching Orange says Happy Mother's Day. And I hope they had a wonderful time. Um, and, and I guess that's it. This one time I got in a truck and it started to move. When I got out, I was in a totally different place. Learned my lesson that day. You stupid, what? <laughs> she got in a random truck. It just started moving. <laughs> Why did you get in a random truck? I guess she learned her lesson though. I'm sorry I called you stupid. I I'm, I've been really mean lately. And I need to change that because I just, I gotta stop being mean to people for no reason, man. All right, but since we already made it to the next city, which I don't know if it's Maringe, I think it was Maringe City. Whoa! Here is our new Pokemon for this route. It's Banby. We actually fought one of these in the last episode, I believe. Um, don't know if it was the last episode or the last, last episode, but we definitely... Oh my. Why is that super effective? Banana is weak to lemon and lime, and Vine is apparently a lemon-lime move. So that's, that's awesome, man. We're going to keep on... Just, just hitting you with that bind. I don't want to go. I, I'm afraid it'll kill it. What if we get a critical hit? Oh my gosh. Okay, that was, that was pretty close, man. Oh wait, we have bind on it now. So yeah, we don't want to attack it anymore. Let's just go for these sweet balls and see if we can catch this thing. Now this is going to be a cool Pokemon. Um, I wanted a banana type actually because, you know, we want to try to get as many different flavors of Poke Sweets as we can. We're trying to be like Skittles now, you know? Make all the flavors, the, the rainbow. That's why their whole rainbow thing, because they have so many flavors. But yeah, that's his evolution bandbind there. We fought that. One of its favorite sweets is ice cream. It likes to be near ice cream as if it were a Sunday. Sunday. Today's not Sunday, though. I'm sorry. Let's put that in box one, which we haven't named yet. I know we named the other box just desserts. Or we could have named it like, um, 
I know someone else put a funny thing in the comments, and I totally forgot what it was. I'm sorry! Someone put a funny in the comments as to what I could have named the box, um, instead of desserts, but I forgot what it was. Marin C, it's yellow all over. I wonder what Meringe even means then. I'm gonna look this up real quick, okay? All right, Meringe, Meri Meringue, Meringe, how do you, I wanna know how to say this as well. Meringe Dictionary. Here, 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 let's, let's, uh, this is a little bit unprofessional right now, but I think this thing has a pronouncer. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Meringue. Meringue. Meringue, Meringue, Meringue. I don't know, dude. Apparently it's meringue, okay? A delicate frothy mixture made with beaten egg whites with sugar. It's a pastry. Okay, I don't know. It has to do with fruits and sweets, okay? So, meringue, apparently. I've been saying it wrong the whole time. This girl sells lemonades, though, which is great. I love that every city has someone that sells, like, you know, we had fresh water, then soda pop, now we have lemonades, but... Either way, I believe that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, we could actually go check out the new Pokemon that we got. Whoa, look at how it leaves the little trail. That's cool. I like that. It's like uh, we're stepping on chocolate right now. There used to be two gyms here. Recently, they merged into a single gym. What the? One city with two gyms? Really? Well, I guess they merged into one, so... I don't know, Chocobon made everything in this land, including the Poke Sweets. They say there's a party going wherever she goes all the time. Who is Chocobon? I've never heard of this person. I remember Cinna. Cinnabon, the, the the professor, I think. I don't... Was she the professor? No, her name was just Cinna. I don't know who Chocobon is, but I hope we get to meet such persons someday. So we got Mintrit and Banby in here. We're gonna go ahead and grab Banby and exchange it for Shurzel. Actually, you know what, Flangoose? You're kind of low level, buddy. So I'm sorry, John. You gotta sit in the PC for a little while, dude. It's like if me and John combine, it would be an orange Zangoose. Vanilla is a rather bland flavor, don't you think? Ha! You'd be wrong. Bland is another word for potential here. That's right. Everything in Sweetland is great. Flavor is power. Now you see why humans generally don't fight. What? Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's unfortunate, dude. That's, that seems, yeah, that doesn't sound good. That would be, I'd be pretty sad if, like, my dog or cat ate themselves into a coma. So I, I can feel your pain. With uh, saying that your Poké Sweet ate itself, though I don't really know if a dog or cat would really eat itself. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't really sound too good. Plus, Peta's onto me, so I can't say that stuff. How do I write a love letter to a Poké Sweet? Yo, let me help you out real quick. Dear Choco Bun, there's nothing else written. Wait a second, is Choco Bun the Snorlax on the cover? Apparently, it's a Poké Sweet. It's not a person. I thought it was a person that like literally made the entire land. Some very tasty ones can talk, the wild ones aren't talkative, but Chocobun, the creator of this land, and her friends can talk. Alright, now I'm really curious. I want to meet this Chocobun person. Maybe she's in here. I don't know. Probably not. Are you, are you Chocobun? No? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that people actually eat Poké Sweets. I, I forgot about this, because this lady just called it, uh... Tasty, and that was a little bit weird. I beg more than a hundred poker sweets. Want to hear about my latest adventure? Sure thing, dude. If you're gonna give me rare candies, sure. My favorite cuppy. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yes, it's stunning. Kindly love it. Hug it when sleeping. Warm and cuddly. Spectacular. Ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. And we're gonna get the bike voucher. Okay. I always confuse this. I know that there's a game where the chairman gives you a. Uh, Rare candy, but I guess in this game you get a uh, bike voucher. Well, in Fire Red you usually get the bike voucher. I just forgot about it. So this dude or this thing will let us get a bike now. So I'll probably go back and get the bike in the next episode. But that is going to be it for today. So next time we'll head on to the uh, whatever the ship in this game is called. I don't really know. The SS Banana. And I'll see you all then. Bye, Nana.